My name is Melanie. This is my husband, Aries. We have three beautiful boys. Avery is six years old, Landon is three years old, and we have Oliver, who's six months old. We moved into the area, but we really were looking for a place to, uh, to go to church together. Mm -hmm. And I think naturally, you know, we came across East Lake and our first time coming, I mean, th that's all it took. Mm -hmm. We've been here since. Well, currently we're involved with the financial ministry here at church. We just wrapped up a session of Financial Peace University. And so we've been doing that for a number of years. We're involved in, in couples groups. Um, I'm involved in a men's group. Mel's involved in a women's group. I feel like we've been learning a lot about just how much we still have left to grow. Uh, we've been here for a while and we've been tithing for quite a while, but just getting comfortable and knowing that there's still more that we can do. I remember that night being at the Cannonball Commitment Night, and I remember Aries and I praying about the amount that we put on that card. It came during a really crucial time period in our lives because I was pregnant and I knew I was going to be out of work. I was going to be on maternity leave for a few months, and I thought, how is this going to work? And when we signed that card, I remember thinking, okay, God, I know that our income is going to get lower, but our commitment was getting higher. And I remember praying, I remember tearing and crying and, and just lifting it up to God and knowing that He would provide. And months have passed, I'm back at work, and I think about that short time that, that I was on leave, and I don't even feel like it really, it really faced us. You know, I think you can get to a place where you're, you're comfortable, um, not just with, with tithing and your finances, but just in your faith, right? You, you're doing the same things, being involved in the same type of groups. Growth is about change, right? Not doing the same things over and over again, but trying new things. And in this case, with our finances, was, was stepping up and giving more. I'd want to encourage you just to remember that everything that we have is all His. That we're just being good stewards of what He's already blessed us with. You know, this is something that is much, much bigger than us. We're talking about helping other people grow spiritually and with their relationship with Jesus. I think about the different churches that are going to come out of this. Um, the different pastors, the different leaders, the, um, the people who are going to accept Christ in their lives, and how just doing that, making that one decision, can have a ripple effect. And not just in their lives, but in lives of other people for generations to come. I think about that and I'm, I'm pretty in awe that I could be part of something like that. I mean, Matthew 6.21 says, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And for me, I definitely feel by giving to this initiative, my heart has definitely been with God.